Hello to those of you who are taking communicative abilities in English 1 this uh, fall 2022 semester. Today is September 2nd, 2022. And I want to give some instructions as to the tasks that we're going to be completing for today. We'll have uh, pretty much the entire class today to uh, complete this task. I wanted to provide a short video describing what we're going to be doing, giving you some in instructions, as well as referring to the text that I have here in RemNote. Uh, this video, in fact, should be just above uh, the text, so you can also refer to the text for clarification. Our task for today is to answer the central question, how have relationships changed over time? So I'd like for us to be thinking about a historical account over time, in the past to the present, how your character has been affected by certain relationships that you have had. And I'd like for us to focus uh, primarily on the positive. How has your character benefited from others in a positive sense. I think one of the best places to start here is to take a look at these two links. And when we think about character, all right, we can think about character traits as being positive or negative. Again, I'd like for us to focus more on the positive. Uh, we can reflect in this activity on perhaps areas of our lives where maybe we have improved. Maybe we before had some certain negative character traits that have turned positive, okay? So that could be part of your uh, discussion. But take a look at some of the key words that have been listed here. I think this is a good starting point, trying to find some of these key words to bring into our presentation, okay? Again, we have a list of positive character traits. We have a lot to choose from. Take a look, review the, the meanings if we need to. And think about which of these, which combination of these positive traits you want to bring into your own discussion. Which of these positive traits relates to you? Again, some of the negative traits I think is worth taking a look at, so we are also familiar with the vocabulary. But again, you might want to bring up some negative traits in terms of how you have improved, how you um, have maybe improved in some of these negative traits. So again, we want to keep it overall in, in a positive uh, discussion. But I think this is a good place to start taking a look at these two uh, links that I've included here. Now some of the questions here that I would consider when you're thinking about and you're preparing for your presentation. The first question relating to your character, what positive and negative character traits do you do you possess or perhaps have you possessed in the past? Okay, so perhaps I could change this, the verb tense, to include basically your experiences from the past to the present. Um, again, it's okay to acknowledge some negative character traits, but overall I would like it to, to be uh, positive. Okay, so try to keep that in mind. The relationship questions, the next section here, these next two questions relate to relationships and the impact that others have had on your own character. So the first question, how has or how have your past and current relationships impacted your character, your personality, or temperament? Now, you don't have to necessarily include all of these. You can stick to character, but I've included a link here to distinguish between what is a character trait, a personality trait, and temperament. Again, we can focus primarily on characters for the purposes of this discussion. The next question, what impact have you had on others? How do others see you? I think this is another important consideration when you're thinking about what you can talk about in your presentation. How do others see you? How do you think others see you? Okay, whether they have been ex expressive and they have told you exactly what they think, or maybe it's just your interpretation. But I think this is also a, a, an important question to consider. The next section, change of character and relationships. Based on the questions above, how has your character changed over time? Again, going back to the central question. How have your relationships changed over time, how has the uh, how's the impact others have had on you changed over time? Right. So, how has 
the impact others have had on you changed over time. Consider a historical account of your character and relationships, both pre-COVID and also during COVID. We probably have a lot of experiences related to COVID, but it doesn't necessarily need to only be about the last couple of years. I would try to look back even further and and draw on some of those experiences and reflect on some of those insights that even go pre-COVID, okay, that go before COVID. So here are the instructions for today's task, and I'll give you again time in class to uh, complete this. Create a list of questions in Microsoft Word from the examples above to answer as they relate to character, relationships, and how they have changed over time. Include your answers in the same document. So I'm going to be sharing a Word document in Microsoft Teams and momentarily we'll be including a link here so that you can access that Word document. Prepare a five-minute presentation that addresses the questions and answers you created in the Word document. This Word document will be uploading it to Flip or Flipgrid. It used to be called Flipgrid, now it's called Flip and you'll be uploading a five-minute video presentation that addresses these questions. Again, the overall question, how have relationships changed over time? This is your central question, okay? So think of your five-minute presentation as setting out to answer this overall question. But the additional questions that I'm asking you to include in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Teams are more specific to help prompt you to prepare as to what you could talk about okay so these questions that I have in each of these sections are meant to guide you but of course you could add additional questions if needed even more specific questions if it relates to certain aspects that you want to address or you want to speak about in your presentation all right so you feel free to add as many questions as you need to but the idea here is to prepare a guide essentially and the guide is going to be in the form again of a question and an answer and you can have a series of questions and a series of answers that are tailored or designed to help prepare you talk about what you want, uh, what you want to say. So the questions are going to be there to help prompt you to figure out what you want to say. The next step would probably be to create a very simple outline so that you can now organize the way in which you want to answer or present those answers to those questions. Okay, so there's two parts. One is to create some questions and answers, and then the second, a simple outline to state, okay, this is I'm going to talk about this first, then I'm going to talk about this, and so on. Now, the other aspect of your presentation, I would like for you to, to include some visuals, and I was thinking uh, photos. Okay, these are, these can be photos that you've uploaded in um, either Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're uploading pictures of these relationships, of these people, right, that, that you want to include in your conversation. So I think including photos of the people, the individuals that you are talking about, right, would, uh, I think, be a, a nice way to offer a visual component to your presentation. Now, I'll be... Um, I can be flexible here if you want to bring in other images, if you don't want or don't feel comfortable sharing pictures of other people uh, in your presentation, that's fine. Okay, you can bring in basically any other image that you want that supports the message that you want to address. A five minute presentation, you know, you'll probably want to have, I don't know, seven, eight, maybe 10 images depending on, you know, depending on what you want to say. Uh, probably no more than that. You don't need a lot of images, but I would try to have probably more than, you know, four or five. I would say, again, probably seven to eight is a pretty good ballpark. It's a pretty good area to, uh, you know, a good number to, to consider. So the last thing I'll do here, last thing I'll say is that when you are presenting your Flipgrid video, and I'll, I'll include a link to a tutorial in YouTube that shows you how to do this, but there should be a way for you to share your screen in Flipgrid so that you can bring in this component. You can bring in this, uh, you can share your screen and show your photos. And one of the last things you, that you do when you create a Flipgrid video is to take a selfie, essentially, uh, of you. So, so 
your end video, your end product, when you complete your video, right, it should be a screen share and the thumbnail should be a, a, a basically a selfie, right, of, of you, okay? And uh, this is basically, these are the instructions and some things to consider when you're preparing your final video. Make sure that your face is within the frame. Make sure that your whole face is in in the screen, right? So that we're we don't, we're not you know only seeing half of your face, for example. Make sure your voice is easily understood. Make sure the volume is good. Pay close attention to your intonation, your your volume. Make sure that you know you are uh, speaking clearly as you present. Try to have good organization. So you want to have some kind of introduction and then the body and a conclusion. And also think about transition. Since you're going to be presenting chronologically, this is a presentation where you're going to talk in the past up to the present how your relationships have changed. So we're going to be looking for transitions that relate to time. So, you know, first this happened, then this happened, or... Uh, you can refer to dates or years if you want, or even times in, of your life when you were in elementary school, high school, or whatever. But you want to uh, make it very clear that you are organizing your ideas chronologically. You'll also want to compare and contrast certain character traits and or relationships over time. This is another aspect of this presentation is to say, well, I used to be like this, now it's like this, I used to be like this, now I'm like this, right? So you can use used to, I used to do this, or I used to be like this, or my relationships with this person used to be like this, now it's like this, okay? So those are some ways, some language that you'll probably be using at some point throughout your presentation. And Finally, make sure that you have some kinds of visuals. Again, I think photos are, I think, a good option if the people feel comfortable, if there's no problem, are you sharing their photos in Flipgrid, okay? So if you feel like this would make them feel uncomfortable or you don't feel comfortable doing sharing those photos, no problem. Feel free to use any kind of visuals that relate to the message, the idea that you're expressing in your talk, okay? So I hope this helps, guys. We'll be in class, of course, and uh, I'll be fielding questions as necessary. But I wanted to present this video and these instructions uh, so that we can start the class by you referring to this information and then asking questions as needed. Again, we'll have the entire class today to complete this task. I look forward to seeing your videos, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.